Okay, the next fly I'm going to show is a, a partridge in green uh, soft hackle. Um, the first one I showed you was a partridge in yellow, which had yellow thread and uh, partridge feathers as the soft hackle. Um, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to add a um, thorax, which will support the hackles as they flow through the water. If you can imagine, as this thing is flowing through the water, the water pressure is going to sweep all of the hackles back towards the body. They'll be flowing and undulating with the water, uh, but they will be swept directly on the body, which is sometimes very useful, especially swimming nymphs um, keep their legs tight to their body as they swim. Um, but what we're going to do is add a little bit of um, dubbing for the thorax, which will support the back side of these hackles so you get a little bit wider profile in the water as it's um, swinging through. So as usual, uh, we start with a hook. Um, on this one I'm using a 3906B size 12. Uh, it's a must-add uh, wet nymph hook. Um, really any nymph hook or dry fly hook um, will work for these soft tackles. Um, the nymph hooks, a little bit thicker hook, um, will sink a little bit better and especially if you want to weigh your uh, fly, um, the thicker um, wire diameter will support the weight a little bit better. So I'm going to start this as normal with building the thread base. The rest of the materials are um, unifloss um, in green Highlander color. I'm going to use copper wire. It looks like I'm going to need to go to the store and get some new copper wire soon. And hair's ear dubbing, uh, just I got from a dubbing package. So the first thing I do is tie in the floss. and the ribbing wire. Now I'm using uh, rib on this because the floss tends to be very fragile and I found that uh, one or two fish the floss ten tends to start to fray. Um, it's actually not a bad thing. I've noticed that uh, a lot of the fish don't mind uh, but you know I tend to do. And the uh, rib will also add a little bit of um, flash and r segmenting effect. So we'll tie off the rib, or the floss, and then bring the ribbing forward. Again, I'm counter-wrapping the wire going the opposite direction that I tied in the floss. Okay, now I'm going to tie in my hackle and kind of cover up all that area with the dubbing. Using a pre-wax thread and I'll help along with a little bit of uh, saliva. The hair's ear is good dubbing. It gives, it's got some spikiness to it. So we'll get some spikes that kind of flow out and when this is in the water, these spikes will help pick up uh, air bubbles and such. And give a little bit good texture while this fly is in the water. Okay. They get a better grip on that. Grip the stem. Okay, now I'm going to come in with just a couple of wraps. Once behind, twice behind, pull, 
sweep back. And build up a little head here. And cut off that straggler. And the fly is done. This is a partridge in green with a hare's ear thorax.